So in previous videos, I've showed you how to set up and configure Unify Talk. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to port a phone number from one provider over into Unify Talk. So let's jump on the PC and get started. So before we get started, what is number porting? Well, number port is where you take your phone number from one provider and move it to another. Now, this can be quite a complex process for some providers because some providers don't actually own those numbers. They're normally owned by a third party. So it's very important that you get to the point of who actually owns that number before you start this process. Anyway, let's move on to Unify and I'll show you how it's done in Unify Talk. So if we look at my Unify Talk platform here, you can see I have gone straight into Unify Talk and I've gone into my settings and I've gone to this number porting option you see right here. So we've already done a number port on Unify Talk, so I'm gonna show you the process I went through to get that done. So we're gonna click on number port here and we're gonna go through these uh, terms and conditions and explanations. We're gonna tick this box and click on continue. Now in here, we're going to go through and we're going to complete all these boxes. Now it's important that you complete all this information, otherwise the number port will either be delayed or it will just fail. So what you need to do is make sure you put in all these details. It's asking for things like first name, email address and so forth, business name, address. Then you get down to this bottom piece down here, which is extremely important. You need to now start filling in the details about your current provider. Now, again, if you don't have the details of your current provider, then you need to go back to whoever's provided you the service and ask them who is the originator of that phone number. Again, some providers don't actually have those numbers. They just use a third, they're just basically a third party and they use a, a, a root source like BT or Vodafone to, to provide the numbers to their service. So it's important that you get to the, the root owner of that phone number and you put those details in. Then you're gonna put in the phone number that you're wishing to port. Then you're gonna put in details about the current carrier's uh, uh, name and their email address and so forth. Once you've done that, you're gonna click on continue. That'll send a port request through to Ubiquiti and they will then process the whole thing for you completely seamlessly and keep you up to date all the time. They'll send you emails, letting you know how things go on. Now the trick will be when you get an email from your current provider saying that you put a request in to port your number from you to another provider. If you get that email, that's critical because that shows you that you've got through to the right provider, the person who provided you the number in the first place. So that will be a key indicator that things are working okay for you. Now, once a few days pass, and it can take up to um, 14 or so days, you'll get a notification to say that the number port has been successful and it will be processed on a specific date. And that date will then be the date that number port takes place. Now that can happen anywhere between, uh, say nine o'clock in the morning and 5 p.m. at night. So it can take the entire day. So you're gonna get some loss of service. So it's very mindful that you notify people that your phone systems may not be available during that time, or you put alternative solution into place. Of course, if you're already using Unify Talk, there is a number that you and obviously assign to yourself in advance and then you can tell people that number so you don't lose any service or any customers. So once the number port's complete, you'll see it will come through, you'll get an email saying it's all complete. You'll then get, you'll see if you go into Unify Talk that the transfer has been complete and you can now assign that number as normal in your Unify Talk platform. So there you go, that's how you do a number port in Unify Talk. Hopefully you find that useful. If so, give us a like and subscribe. My name's Rob. From RLS Computer Services, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.